Hey guys, Jan David Sutar here, AFC Northerners, Ravens guy, and we are going to be talking here about the matchup this week, Ravens Bengals game one in Cincy. Now, I just watched my Bengals guy, uh, his uh, pregame, basically, uh, predictions and all that. Highly recommend you go check it out. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll link to it in the notes. And you should watch that, Ravens fans, because it gives you a lot of insight into what the Bengals fans are thinking whenever it comes to their entire team this year and how misguided they are. So my Bengals guy predicted a 26-9 blowout by the Bengals beating the Ravens. 26-9. I don't think he's seen our pass rush. I don't think he's even really looked at our defense in a really solid way. Because if he did, he'd realize that all that talk about Joe Mixon being the second coming is going to wind up being a little stuffed by our probably top-rated run defense. And then you have all the talk about A.J. Green being the, the you know, person that's going to have no answer from the Ravens. And then you kind of look at our secondary and go, wait, 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 wait. You torched, rightly so, Jimmy Smith after an injury year. And then now you're saying that he's just going to do it to everybody. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm interested to see how that argument holds up. Uh, the other one is you're talking about like Carl Lawson and uh, the, that group. Mm. I'm not sure how they're going to hold up against Yonda and Stanley and the other, you know, interesting pieces that we've put around our offense. I think that there's a lot of thought that Joe Flacco is not going to be able to do the job like he's supposed to. Uh, I think that they're talking about about hoping that he really goes down and Malik comes in. I mean, that's exactly what my Bengals guy is talking about. That Mal uh, that Flacco's going to go down. Flacco's going to go down. Flacco's not going to finish. We're going to take out Flacco. And I think that that is a severe estimation. Don't get me wrong. i am never really been wacko for Flacco. But I don't see that happening. What I do see happening, in my humble opinion, is that the Bengals are going to severely underestimate our defense. Period. I think that our offense definitely has some things that it needs to clear up. What does Macklin look like after coming off of an injury? Uh, how is Boyle? What does Max Williams look like? Can Wallace and Ken um, Perryman, along with Macklin, really kind of go that way? Because now we're going with a three receiver set with one tight end. That's a lot of what we saw. So that seems to be the kind of play that we're looking for. So you put, you know, Boyle in there, and he just winds up hurtling over Bengals defenders like he did last year, and you've got a whole new ball game. I also think that we're going to have a really interesting time watching to see who winds up becoming the cream of the crop in our running back group. Because not only do we have Terrence West back in there and Danny Woodhead, but I, I think that watching Buck Allen because he can catch almost anything that comes his way. It's going to be really good. I really love Buck Allen. I've always been a fan of his. Uh, I'm curious to see what he's going to do in these games coming up, because he has the potential to just rip it away from everybody. He's got the heart, too. I really like this kid. Now, everybody's been saying that there's been, you know, you know, that... How do I word this so that it makes sense? You know, Flacco's not going to be able to throw, like he hasn't practiced or anything like that. And uh, then you, you kind of go back and you watch whenever he did a play after getting hit in the knee and, you know, hurt his knee a couple seasons ago and still was able to finish. And, you know, well, he, he wound up going out on the game, but we won. And we won on a throw that he tossed even after the injury. So, yeah, like, I don't think that logic really holds up. I mean, I don't know. That being said, my prediction for this game is going to be 13-10. I, I only see them scoring one touchdown and getting one, you know, field goal, seeing as how their kicker wound up missing, what, three field goals in the last preseason game? Four? Four, maybe? And we've got Justin Tucker. So we get to that 50-yard line, I think we'll be all right. That being said, uh, I'm really excited about this game. It's going to be a beautiful thing to watch our boys go in there and just shut all the talk about how Marvin Lewis is the Flacco kryptonite. Uh, other than that, guys, I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm, I'm being calm and chill about this game. Usually I'd be really riled up, but I have a good feeling about it. I don't feel the need to like exert a whole lot of energy thinking that we're going to win because I think that we're going to win. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. Bengals, 
you know, fans too, feel free to comment in. Let me know what you think. But again, I think 13-10, Ravens. And as always, fuck the Patriots. Bye, guys.